Hi friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anthony Gadar and I am so happy to see you again. In this video, I'll be giving you every single detail there is to know about the routes and the requirements needed in order for you to get into medical school. You edition. I have been doing extensive research communicating with current students and the university in order to get the most updated information there is. I have broken this video up into five sections. First, we're going to be looking at the universities and what they offer. Next, we look at the first entry route, which is the CXC route. Next, the second entry route, which is the preliminary programs. I'll be highlighting two specific programs. Then, we're going to be talking about the third entry route, which is the degree or by degree of choice and lastly I'm going to be doing a Q&A segment I'm going to be answering some of the questions that I have been asked on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel if you have not yet watched my video which I talk about my first year in medical school you could do that right after this video not right now and if you haven't yet followed me on Instagram you can follow my Instagram at Anthony Gadar with extra D after Gadar before we continue I will ask you to please 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 Hit that subscribe button, subscribe, 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 that'll help me a lot. As well as, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified. I post here on YouTube. Get to comment, like, and share to anyone who wants to know about how to get into medical school at UE. Alright? Thank you so much, and let's get into this video. So, the University of West Indies is spread across the Caribbean in three major islands. So now, let's look at the university and what they offer. First, we have the university located in Kingston, Jamaica, the Mona campus. And this university offers nursing, diagnostic medical ultrasound, diagnostic imaging, basic medical sciences, dentistry, studies in physical therapy, pharmacy, and lastly, medicine and surgery. Next, we have the university located in Bridgetown, Barbados, the Cave Hill campus. And this university offers health sciences, medical and surgery, and lastly, science in human nutrition and dietetics. And finally, the University of West Indies located in Port of Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago, the St. Augustine campus. And this university offers medicine, nursing, optometry, pharmacy, dentistry, and lastly, the School of Veterinary Medicine. So, as you can see, all these universities offer different types of programs, right? So, when applying, you have to be specific and choose wisely about the school that you're going to go into. So, you have to think about the location, then the program they offer, Right, and then you have to, of course, think about if you can fund the program that you choose and the school that you go to. Now, before we dive into our first entry routes, let's look at the requirement you need to even be considered an application of the university. So, you have to be 18 years or older as of December the 31st of that applying year. Next, you have to have a secondary level education, right? And lastly, you have to be proficient in English. So, let's now dive into our first entry route and requirements. Cape A-Levels. That's the first entry route. This falls under the Caribbean countries that offer the CXC examinations, which is an exam that is taken at the end of the fifth or final year in high school. Then you will move onwards into your sixth form or your CAPE or A-level examination. Now, remember the subjects that you do in the fifth form on CSEC will influence the subjects that you do in sixth form. However, if you'd like to enter the medical faculty at UE, you have to do sciences. And I'm talking about hardcore sciences. So these are the subjects that I recommend you take at the fifth form level. First of all, we have the maths and the English, which are mandatory subjects at CSEC. Then we have the biology, the chemistry, the ad maths or the physics. I also recommend you do a language and a business subject. Then once you pass those subjects, you'll now move into sixth form and you'll have to choose chemistry and biology. Those are main subjects that you need to enter the faculty. Then you can do um, ad maths or physics or envi in both unit ones and unit two. These are the subjects required for you to enter the medical faculty into any of the three universities. However, there is a twist. You must, and I repeat must, have grade ones 
and sometimes grade 2 at the CAPE level. So let's summarize. You will need 5 CSEC subjects, grade 1 to 3, or GCE, O levels, or if you're from the Bahamas, BGCSE, in A to C, in those subjects that I've mentioned above. You will need highly competitive grades in CAPE examinations, in biochem and another subject which I recommend either mathematics and vi or physics. However, if your country doesn't have the CAPE examinations or the CXC examinations, the second route might be for you. Now let's explore our second entry route and requirements. Preliminary program. There are two introductory to medicine or preliminary programs that you can do. These are the pre-science program or the N1 program and next we have the pre-health program. So let's talk about the pre-science program or N1 program first. This program is a part of the science and technology faculty. This is open to every single student who completed a secondary level education. This program is geared towards local students, that means nationals of Trinidad and Tobago. This program is also gate funded, meaning it is free, well, at least for the first attempt. This program requires you to choose three subjects out of four in two semesters. These subjects include biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. When you have completed the N1 pre-science program, it enables you to enter any of these faculties. The science and technology faculty, the faculty of engineering, the faculty of medical sciences, and lastly, the faculty of food and agriculture. In this program, you are required to maintain a GPA of 3.5. I will discuss more about this in my Q&A section. Right? So stick to the end in order to hear more about the N1 program. So we finished talking about the pre-science program. Let's talk about the pre-health program now. This is a program which is designed by the medical faculty. This program is strictly geared towards international students and Tobago students. In order to be accepted into this program, you will need two sciences, maths and English, and a language. This program requires you to do five courses over three semesters. These courses are Mathematics, Chemistry, Biology, Physics, and English. This program is not gate funded. In this program, you are required to maintain a GPA of 3.0 or higher. So, let's summarize the pre-science and the pre-health. Firstly, the pre-science requires you to do three courses in two semesters, whereas the pre-health requires you to do five courses in three semesters. Pre-science is gate-funded, whereas the pre-health is not gate-funded. Pre-science requires you to maintain a, three, a GPA of 3.5 or higher, and the pre-health requires you to maintain a GPA of 3.0 or higher. Pre-science is geared towards national or local students of Trinidad and Tobago, and the pre-health is geared towards international students. The pre-science is a part of the science and technology faculty, whereas the pre-health is a part of the medical faculty. So, there you have it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward between the preliminary courses. Now, let's dive into our third entry route and requirements. So if you don't want to waste your time doing preliminary courses or doing CXC, you can obtain your first degree at the University of the West Indies or any university that is recognized competitively by the University of the West Indies, along with a competitive GPA. Transfer applicants to the medical faculty from the Faculty of Science and Technology is allowed. However, you have to have a competitive GPA. So a person holding a first degree from these faculty with a minimum of a low second class honors will be considered into the medical faculty. Persons who have completed their first two years at a four-year degree from any university that is recognized and acceptable by the University of the West Indies can be accepted into the DVM program. That is the Doctor in Veterinary Medicine program. So again, let's summarize. So now let's head into our question and answer segment. So someone told me, I hate maths. 
Don't we all? Do you have to do it at Cape? No, you don't. That's the answer. The main subjects that you need to do at Cape is biology and chemistry. You do require to have a third subject, but you could do physics, so you could do environmental science, or you could do something else. Next question. I had done Cape, and my grades was okay, but I still didn't get in. Should I have just moved on or do something else or should I try again? I will always say to try again. Like that's always my motto. Like if you don't want, if you want to get into something, if you want, if it's something, if it's your passion, you will not give up. Which campus is better? Um, I don't know. I that is a, that is a question I'm not too sure. Many people, however, said that the UE Mona have a better medical facility right they have their own private hospital that they use to do their, their stuff and that's what i'm hearing uh, that's why i hear i so probably you be mona but should i do the n1 program or do keep boom if you're coming from csec and you don't want to do any you don't want to wear a uniform anymore you don't want to you know do i will always say Ugh. This is a difficult one Because N1 I hear is hard It's very hard But I also hear that Two years doing Cape In high school again Is even harder So I would say Do the N1 Do N1 Right However If you know that N1 is going to be too costly on you and you're not going to get through and you're going to go to the school and you're going to be sidetracked by by girls or boys or, or partying and or you're, you're, you're living your life do the keep it all depends on your self-discipline right because if you go to do the N1 program and you're not self-disciplined you will get caught up and you will waste your year rather than you going to keep and it's the same old thing again which might have your head on and you do well in Cape and you get your scholarship and you get to come into medical school oh that's it that's all the questions that I have that's the video you know if you have any other questions any other questions don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me you know whatever you need to ask or whatever you want to ask about you could always ask me on in the comments below or you could DM me for privacy on Instagram, which is just Anthony Gerard with an extra G after Gerard on Instagram. So, uh, as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so you get a notification that I post here on the YouTube. As well as you will be helping a little Tobago boy stream come true. So, again, stay safe, drink your water, eat your avocado, look after your health, look after yourself, and I will see you. Come on. Give me a hand vibe. Before we leave, give me a hand vibe. If you're still watching, give me a hand vibe. Bah! Awesome. So I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.